Hi, I'm Shri Peruvemba, Chair for Marketing at SID. We are here at the iZone, and for the first time ever, um, we have an entry and an exhibit from India. Uh, this is Professor uh, Deepak uh, from uh, uh, SID uh, chapter in India. And uh, um, Deepak, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here. Uh, would you kindly explain what it is that you're uh, demonstrating here at the iZone? Yes, so uh, we are a national center for flexible electronics and uh, in this uh, government gave us support, we proposed and government gave us support to, uh, to build this display and flexible electronics capacity in India. Uh, in absence of silicon technology, this is the area we think that we can start manufacturing in India. That's what our target is and for this we have set up a center which is run by a separate staff of about 50 people and IIT Kanpur manages it. And we've taken a whole host of uh, uh, products uh, in flexible electronics, but we're very focused on what would be India's specific application. Here is an example. So if you look at these products which I'm showing here, these are, they, these are seven segment display made out of OLEDs, but this is a very simple matter. However, what is underneath behind it is a cost cutting measure. The target is that it should match the price of LED so that it can it becomes commercially viable. As you know, there's no LED manufacturing in India. So this will enable manufacturing using OLEDs, seven segment displays in weighing scales, in elevators, except uh, 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 for example, for example, this is a, uh, we're on fifth floor. And if you want to go down to the third floor, here it is, this is how the elevator would look like. And using OLED, which can be stuck on, on, a, on a very thin layer. We make, uh, we make passive matrix displays. These are passive matrix displays, passive matrix displays that we have made. And to support the display industry, which we think is coming up right now, a large company is trying to set up a LCD manufacturing in India to support its activities. We are doing training and we are also making TFT backplanes for them. Uh, these are indium gallium zinc oxide TFT backplanes. They are going to go with a silicon based technology, but this is their this will be going to be their next generation work which is already starting in our center to support such activities. We make inks. These are printable inks. These are printable inks made out of silver and copper, inkjetable and screen printable. Some of the samples are shown here. And very innovative products such as these pens which are silver ink pens and you can write it. This is conducting ink and you can write this is for kids to make circuits. Uh, out of uh, use a pen awesome. and make circuits out of it. As you know, India, unique applications are possible. Here's another, another com this is spin-off which is coming out of our center, which is about anti-counterfeiting. Yeah. Anti anti-counterfeits is a problem. Yes. So we want to have an anti-counterfeiting solution. And this is a, we think, a foolproof solution which we are trying to provide. Similarly, if you look at coming on the healthcare side or uh, f we are looking at things which are uh, for best, best cancer detection using flexible electronics. We are looking at sensors for uh, detecting food spoilage. We are looking at uh, unique applications where milk adulteration happens. So we are looking at flexible sensors at the uh, collection centers for milk. And, uh, you know, and that's it. we are working with company, one company. There is spin-off coming out of these inks and the anti-counterfeiting. So this whole host of solutions we are looking at to uh, uh, coming out of this flexible center. center. Well, thank you so much for explaining that. I know you've been associated with SID for many years and uh, more recently you've taken on the task of reinvigorating the SID's activities in India. Uh, you alluded to the fact you alluded to the fact that there is a likely LCD fab coming up in India which did not exist uh, before in the last several years there has been no uh, uh, display manufacturing there. Um, I presume one of the challenges that you have that you're trying to solve is all of these different industries that are emerging would need trained students, right? You, you, that's one of the things that you're doing in your institute. Uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit more about, uh, you know, what is interesting about the changes that are happening in the market right now in India that will cost some young person, whether they are in school or about to go to school, to obtain the kind of training that you're imparting so that they can be participate in that industry? Yes, so uh, our activity started almost 10 years ago on yeah. displays, when the, another company by, by name of Samtel, which was intra, interested in displays, and that's how our chapter also got set up, and that's how we started making OLED displays. 
but unfortunately that company did not go into the display business so there's a kind of lull in our chap chapter but now with a likelihood of uh, a, a new setup of LCD fab coming up in India so we are, active, we, are, we are becoming active again in the display sector and we're trying to get more and more members inclu uh, included in it we will have to as you said rightly said we'll have to support this with a lot of uh, you know trained manpower because there's absolutely no other display activity in the country we are the only uh, university where this chapter is located where we have courses on displays Wonderful. so we are trying to uh, reinvigorate those courses we are trying to video record it we are trying to make it available to these uh, to different institutions in india so or that even they can across the world across the world also will be available on youtube yeah. so we are trying to record those uh, from next in a, ne from july these lectures will be recorded and these will be available for uh, at different nits so that students graduating from those colleges have also a dif uh, display exposure and if these companies come up they can hire from all these places uh, and display is such an area unless someone gets into it it's more difficult to start it's yes, very yes. difficult to start yes. so hopefully with this uh, you know these courses becoming available some people will get interested and there's more likelihood of this uh, you know this kind of activity growing further wonderful well thank you so much for being at iZone for everything that you do for SID in India I wish you good luck thank you